decided I need to start my 2023 goal setting, budgeting, everything. Like I just need to plan the best I can plan. 2022 has been a very crazy year. I am in a position that like I wanted to be in, but also like being in it is still very surreal for me. I am pregnant with our first child. I got married in 2021. In 2022, I got pregnant. In 2023, I'm going to be someone's mother. And <laughs> I can't even believe that that is my life right now, but that is my life right now. There's going to be so much, I think, next year that will be out of my control and kind of like things that I'll have to roll with. Um, but I feel like there are things that I can do this year to um, prepare myself and think through what I want to accomplish and try to accomplish um, just to like set me off on the right foot. And I really want to start this as like a yearly thing that I do where I come on here and talk about um, kind of my 2020, my next year's goals, right? And like goal setting, um, vision boards, all of the things. Like I really want to like be more intentional in the way that I approach um, these transitions in my life and, and transition from year to year and things like that. So I'm starting now, okay? I actually am an iPad girly. Um, I used to journal. Um, I used to use like notebooks from like home goods to write down my goals and, and to-do lists and things like that. And honestly, I realized that I started to just have like six or seven journals all over the place with just things in it and I wouldn't even remember like which one I wrote in like it just got it wasn't working I'm just gonna go over kind of my goals and the things that I am like starting to manifest now this is what I have for my 2023 goals um so number one welcome a happy and healthy baby that is a goal it is the biggest and most important goal in my life, <laughs> you know? So I have that at the top. Um, these are not in any type of prioritization or anything like that, but welcoming our baby is the number one goal. Maintain a morning routine, maintain a nighttime routine. I am not great with routine, and I really, really would like to change that um, and work on that diligently before my baby comes. Um, so that is on the list. Um, hit 10K on YouTube, it's lofty. It feels lofty, but I am going to really commit myself to creating content. I really enjoy creating content, um, specifically content that I feel is helpful to other people. Um, I like to watch YouTube videos to get inspiration. So like that's the type of content I want to make for others to get inspiration. So I am really going to commit and be consistent next year. That is a really big goal that I have. Get promotion at work. I've been working toward this already and I do think I am going to reach that goal. Um, monetize my blog. I started blogging. Uh, again, inspiration is a big part of the content creation um, that interests me. Um, I'm still learning. I'm still, you know, I'm still learning and growing in that space, but I am trying to figure out a way to have my personality transfer to my blog, the things that I care about, and they be helpful. At the end of the day, that's what I want my blog to be. Um, so I am hoping that I will be able to monetize next year. Limit my social media use daily. I, now that I'm on TikTok, I spend way too much time watching it. Honest, if I'm being honest, like I can, it feels like, I'll look up and I've watched TikTok for hours and I don't feel like that is good for me. Um, getting on there and posting, getting on there and scrolling a little bit is one thing, but I really need to optimize my time. And so I am going to try to limit that um, in the future. And it's really only TikTok. I don't do it with Instagram and I don't do it really with Twitter, but TikTok will have me like, I'm like, that's not where I need to be in life. A uh, monthly date night. This may be ambitious with a new baby, but I would like to prioritize my relationship with my husband, um, even when our child is here with us. So that is on the list. Be a better friend, very self-explanatory. 
get weight to 175 that is ambitious guys it's ambitious and i am not saying pressure anybody should be pressuring themselves after having a child to lose weight um but i was really diligently working out before i got pregnant and i was so close to that number <laughs> so i would like to kind of keep that in mind when i am trying to like get back into moving my body and and you know prioritizing my health next year so i do want to set a number um i think it may give me a little more motivation to do it regular massages and facials wow i included this one because i love massages um and i feel like and facials and i feel like it's just a part of a beauty routine that i would like to include we'll see if i actually reach that goal but in my head i'm like i totally want to do that i have a vacation on here if you don't know what a vacation is it's a vacation with your bae okay um so i do still want to take a trip with my husband next year even if it's not international or anything like that um again we've never been parents before though so i don't know how that is gonna go it's maybe wishful thinking but that is a plan. Celebrate my 30th birthday. I am not a huge like birthday person. I'm usually so chill and like not interested in really celebrating and doing things, but I think I wanna do that next year. Uh, I will be 30 years old and I think I need to or want to do something to actually celebrate. So I have that on the list. Um, make my bed daily. Seems small, but very hard for me to achieve currently. So I have that on the list. Call my extended family more often. Take more pictures. This is a big one. I wanna take more pictures that are not for social media, more videos that are not for social media. I just want to be able to look back on special moments um, or the ordinary moments that end up being special in life and have them. So I want to prioritize that. Make conscious food choices, that's obvious. Hit 10K on TikTok. It's just putting a number on it like i'm not super big on tiktok's not i mean <laughs> of course it would be great but it's not like a huge deal for me but i thought you know might as well put it on the goal list and see if i can achieve it and then host more friends at our home um i have that on the list i like hosting but i'm also kind of like weirdly private sometimes and i just don't end up having people over um, but I want to get in the, the habit of like hosting friends more regularly. So I have that on the list. Then lastly, you guys, I have a running list right now of things to do before baby. Um, we have things that we need to knock out before our child comes. And I definitely want to be able to keep track of those things. Um, and I am just honestly adding to that list as I go. I'm hoping that by the end of the year, I'll actually have that, li that list fully finished i'm not there yet but i am working on that because i feel like that is a good way for me to track the things that i need done before this baby comes i also did some work to pull together a vision board to do this i literally just went on pinterest um i love pinterest you guys i'm a pinterest creator okay on there so definitely go check out the pinterest I have a bunch of fun um pictures and, and videos on there but going on Pinterest and just pulling together images that really um, kind of reflect where I want to be in life next year. Um, so I did that and then I pulled um, some of those pictures over to Canva um, and just be able to kind of have that pulled together.
that I've done so far to do like a 2023 reset to get myself in a place where I feel like I am ready to um, kind of take on the new year, have it all planned out. I'm probably going to do some um, end of the year cleaning and organizing and things like that. I like doing that type of stuff. Um, I actually did a video last year on like how to reset your home for the new year. Um, and so I'll be doing some of those things and maybe some different like organizing things uh, in included in that. So I'll definitely try to record that for you guys. But hopefully this video was helpful. Um, please let me know if you have any questions or comments. And please make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.